Hello, friends. Happy Friday. Oh, what a Friday it is, too. Happy to be looking forward to the weekend. As you'll see in a minute, it is a rainy afternoon. And Google weather lied to me this morning. I did not know it was going to be rainy. I knew it was going to be cloudy. Oh, well. Such is life. Actually, this rain, I, I, I hesitate to even call it rain. It just kind of like the air's wet. But I will have to keep the wipers on. And you know, actually, this might be the first time I made one of these videos with the wipers on. Hmm. That shows you how much we uh, overestimate the negative. I'm sure if I would think back, I'd say, oh, it rains every weekend. And yet, it clearly doesn't rain every Friday, because this is the first Friday I recall needing to put the wipers on. Maybe I'm wrong. You can go back and rewatch all my videos and see if I'm lying about that. So it's been a busy week, relatively uneventful, just lots to do. I'd hoped to be a lot further along in the shop than I am now, but I ran into a bit of a issue there. I, I'm going to have to do more work on the walls than I thought before I can paint them. So. It's not too bad, but it's uh, stuff I got to do, and I had to pick up some some of the uh, what's it called hydraulic mortar. I think that's what it's called, hydraulic cement. Uh, I had to pick some of that up, and I need to prepare the walls, and they need to be. I mean, the biggest problem is you have to you have to wash the wall uh, first. You like acid etch it, and then you wash it, and then of course you have to let it dry completely, and. You know, it's a it's a under underground basement, so the walls take quite a while to dry. But we'll get it done. So what I've been thinking about today, the thing that's sort of been occupying my my mind all day, is uh, the situation with my wife's family, and you know, I. I I love my wife dearly, I love her family dearly, but, oh boy, I guess this is always true, you know, you, you're used to, you're used to you, and they're them, <laughs> but, uh, they seem to have a skill for creating problems where there really are no problems. And what I mean by that is situations where I would just sort of shrug my shoulders and walk away, they turn into major events. And the one that, that is uh, sort of burning brightly right now has to do with my in-laws who are in their, I'll say mid-80s, they, they may be a bit past mid-80s. Um, Considering their age and in, in fairly good health, my father-in-law has some difficulties with his uh, legs, so he can't walk without assistance. He, he needs a uh, a walker, but his upper body strength is still good. Um, Mother-in-law is in very good shape and gets around just fine. Um, sharp as tacks, both of them. You know, no no feeble-mindedness to be found. I'll explain why that's important later. And, um, yeah, by and large, they're, you know, considering their age, they're, they're in really good shape. So, it's their anniversary. Um, end of September, beginning of October, I'm not exactly sure. And they decided they want to go to Myrtle Beach. Now, Myrtle Beach was sort of the family 
destination for vacations when my wife was growing up. They've made this trip at least a hundred times. Driving from Pittsburgh to, to, to Myrtle Beach. They have it planned where they're actually going to drive to Lancaster, Pennsylvania because there's a show they want to see in Lancaster and then they, um, they want to go to Lancaster and see this show overnight and then they plan to uh, get up the next morning and complete the drive to Myrtle Beach again, they've done this a hundred times well, for I don't know, at least a month and a half now, I've been hearing about how they can't be driving all that distance and they're not going to be able to make the drive. And, and so my wife has, has two sisters. Love them dearly. Put the three of them together for ten seconds and you'll have an argument. It's just the way women are. You can't... I don't want to get into that. But... Because I'll get in a lot of trouble. But they do just... They, they get along. It's not that they don't love one another, but they just clash very easily. And they've been arguing and bickering back and forth about whether or not they should be taking this drive and who should be going with them. And, and you know, we... I, I told her, I said, if they want us to go, we'll go. You know, just let me know and I'll, I'll plan it. Well... They said very clearly, no, we don't want anyone to go. This is our vacation. I understand that. You know, they're, they're in their 80s. Their health is good, but it's starting to fail. They're probably seeing this as a last opportunity to get away together and, you know, maybe relive some, some old memories of going on vacations and, and all that. But, you know, they, they want to have that independence. I like it when it tells me there's a scam likely. That makes it easy to not answer. So that's all. You know, they, they just they just want to do this themselves. Oh, I should go and help them. I, I no. so I got a call from my wife today. Can you leave work early so we can drive to Lancaster and meet them? No. <laughs> what, what good is that going to do? The, the only end result in that is they're going to be angry because they've told you quite clearly they don't want to do this with us. They want to do it themselves. Now, of course, the Hurricane Dorian is is creating more of a complication in all this. I don't know exactly why, because by the time they get there, the hurricane will be a thing of the past. Um, I've heard some strange stories about how they're not, there's not going to be any food in the grocery stores and things like that. Uh, uh, uh. I think the bottom line in all of this is, or at least what I'm taking from it, the world is... There's enough problems in the world... We shouldn't be going out of our way to create new ones. We shouldn't be looking for drama where there doesn't need to be drama. And I think that's true in all aspects of life. And you know, I'm I'm not I'm not immune to it either. You know, you you watch you watch a sporting event and, and you know you, you get angry at the players for doing something or you get angry at the coach and you turn it into this little mini vendetta that, oh they gotta fire him and all that. why I mean they lost the game there'll be another game you know it, and I do it I'm not I'm not trying to say I'm better than than you guys I know we all do it um, politics you know God I won't I, uh, I broke the rule and talked about religion, and I'm glad I did, but I will never break the politics rule. That's, that's something I just do not talk about publicly. Not because I don't have very passionate beliefs that I you know, believe are very sound, but because y y you might as well just each get up. 
big hammer and start hitting one another over the head. It, it never ends well. And a big part of that is because we, we decide there's going to be a problem before there's actually a problem. And we, we start to, to try to create the drama around it. And I don't know, I guess there's something in us that makes us, it makes us feel better when there's conflict. And if we can sort of engineer the conflict, somehow we feel more in control than if it just dropped on us. I don't know. But I know for certain that my in-laws just want to have a nice, quiet week to themselves. And uh, they're probably <laughs> they're probably regretting their their uh, choice to have children right about now. I'm sure that's not true. I would be regretting it, but they're they're better people than I am. Plus, it's dog now. So we are gonna make a slight detour up here. Assuming I remember where the detour. Uh oh, they blocked off my slight detour. Thing. That's interesting. I used to park up there. Okay. Well, anyway, I am uh, going to have to look for a parking spot then because I'm picking up uh, dinner from my wife and I. And oh, good. They got that lot closed. This is fantastic. Yeah, I'm picking up dinner. And, uh, I need to pull your horn out. I need to find a place to park in order to do so. Hmm. It's never a dull moment here in Lansdale. What is this? Um, I guess we can go up here. This will be fine. So yes, I'm sure you've been fascinated by my uh, <laughs> by my traffic problems here, but uh, I'm gonna take whatever spot this is here, right in front of the Well Crafted Beer Company, which sadly I will not be going into. There's a little Greek restaurant right over there that uh, we enjoy. We get takeout from there quite often. Oh, and we're just going to miss a train. To... Sorry about that, guys, but the place I normally park, we'd be looking right at the train right now. That would be really cool, but they got it blocked off. Oh, well, it was not meant to be. So anyway, folks, this was very rambly. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, I feel better talking about it. Uh, and just in case anyone from my wife's family is watching, I do love them all dearly. Um, I, I just find the whole thing to be comical and in, in a sense sad because it just doesn't have to be that way. But people are people. So I'm off to get dinner. Y'all take care and I'll talk to you soon.